Today, we're talking about clogs and what methods can you use to get around it. So, join me inside if you hate dealing with this problem. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today, as I said, we are dealing with the problem of the printer clogging. It's something we all fight with filament printers. It's a common problem. The nozzle gums up, the filaments crap, or just the fact that, you know, humidity, different things, the Bowden tube has gotten mucked up. It's all something that we all have to deal with. And it is a common problem working with it, working with filament printing. So whether you're using a direct drive extruder, a standard extruder, Bowden tubes, no Bowden tube, you're gonna run into this problem along the process. So having the right tools to deal with the issue is a great thing. Now this video can spread off into so many different topics. Nozzles, Capricorn, Bowden tube, PTFE tubes, uh, full metal hot ends. I mean, I can go a whole long way, but we're not doing that today. We're going with a straight and narrow topic of a couple tools that are really important to help you undo this problem. So I'm not gonna go off on some special nozzle. I'm not gonna go off on, you know, this Bowden tube is the one you need. I'm talking about the tools to get it undone and get you back to printing. So if you're interested in this topic or more topics of this type, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new here, or if you've been here many times and never hit it, please do, it helps us out. And also if you like the content that you're about to watch, hit that thumbs up button, let us know that it is something that you enjoy. So without with further ado, let's hop into the tools of the trade. So when I see a clog, this is what I usually do. Brass nozzles are cheap. I can get like 50 of them for six bucks. That's usually my go-to is I will simply rip this guy out. Now to do that, I have two tools that I usually use. One is my handy socket wrench. This one has a six millimeter deep socket. Now, why does it have a deep socket? You probably ask, well, to get that nozzle off, it's gotta be hot. So that means my nozzle is probably at about 215 degrees. I don't wanna to touch that or get anywhere near it. I don't wanna get burned. So with that, I use the long socket because it fits down in here nicely. It grabs nicely, keeps my hand away from a hot nozzle and it just allows me to work around and bring that nozzle in and out without burning myself. So it's just a long, no long socket on a small socket wrench. And I like this because I can switch it. I can actually still grab the socket and just twist to pull the nozzle out. And then it's out. So then a lot of times what I'll do is I'll pull the filament, make sure the end of it's clean put in a new one and back to the races, usually. Sometimes that doesn't always happen. And then that usually means there's a clog up in the Bowden tube, which means I've got to undo the Bowden tube with a wrench. I will pull the nozzle at the same time. And then I will cut the Bowden tube with the straight cutter. So you shouldn't be cutting Bowden tubes with side cutters or anything like that. You're not gonna get a straight cut. That's where this guy comes in handy. This gives you a straight cut and lets you get the job done in a good, clean way. So these run about seven or eight bucks on Amazon. Links will be down in the description to all these tools because we're gonna build up to a bigger one that I really have started to like lately that was sent to me. So my main tools of the trade, although I'm missing the six millimeter wrench that I, or six or eight millimeter wrench that I usually use to undo the fitting where the Bowden tube is. So those are my usual tools of the trade to get this off. And if you want to see a video of me actually doing this, comment, let me know you want that video. So that's my usual trick of the trade. Now, a lot of times too, if the Bowden tube and that's clogged up, I may take a scrap piece of Bowden tube and push it all the way through the hot end. That way, if any plug has formed between the nozzle and that, I get that pushed out, which is honestly, sometimes the most deceptive thing you'll run into. So, that's my main way of dealing with a clog. But, a new tool that's been sent to me, and I have fallen in love with, especially for my direct drive extruder printers, like my Odin's and that, is this guy. It's called 
the no clogger. So, steel shaft, precisioned at the end. Now Mike, it just looks like a steel poker. Why does this work? Well, what this is designed to do is it is specially rounded at the end to grab, to settle down into your nozzle. So when you push this in to your hot end, it's gonna go all the way down and set exactly how the filament will set at the end of the nozzle, pushing everything out. Then when you pull back, filament's gonna have cooled onto this. So you're essentially doing a cold pull almost at the same time. Now this is great for direct drive, so, uh, full metal hot ends that the bone tube doesn't set all the way down in. This guy just pokes right in and pushes it on out as long as you can get it heated up. The other use for this guy. You know all those nozzles I just pulled off and disre disregarded? A pair of pliers, a heat gun, this. Nozzles cleaned. So this tool is extremely functional for your shop. If you're doing filament printing, this guy runs about $19.00. It is fantastic. I have re now recycled more nozzles than I'm throwing away because of this guy. With a 15 minute sit down and put them on the end of a plier, poke, 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 poke. Nozzles are cleaned out, ready for reuse. Now sometimes, yes, they're not gonna work perfectly, but you know, again, nozzles are cheap. And I'm gonna grab this guy again. These little brass nozzles on Amazon are very cheap. So it's one of those things, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, I get steel, I get tungsten. I just found these guys effective. They work. And I'm not spending $20 on a nozzle. Now, if you've bought those more expensive nozzles, which I have some myself, invest. So you get your nozzle back and you get a good clean on it. This tool is really handy to do that job. And I've been very impressed with it. I was very surprised. Um, I was very skeptical when I first got it. Cause I was just kind of like, this ain't gonna work. Once the nozzle's clogged, it, it, once it's done, it's done. But uh, I took it into one of my Odin's, which has a very large, more expensive nozzle. I put it right down the extruder and boy, everything in there just went right on out. And if you've ever worked with the Creality Titan extruder, if it gets down in there, you gotta unbolt the whole thing to go get that little piece. Not anymore. Straight down in, it pushed the remaining filament through the hot end and let me reload and get going without having to spend 20 minutes dismantling my extruder to get a little piece of filament like out of that out of there. So this tool already paid for itself by saving me 20 minutes. And to me, my time, my time, I value my time. So if this can cut 20 minutes off me getting a printer repaired back into service, great tool. So link to this will be down in the description. Hope you guys found this interesting on some of the tools that I use because basically for cleaning a nozzle and cleaning out a clog, here's my arsenal. These three tools usually make it up. Now granted I'll have a wrench depending on what the coupling at the top is to pull the Bowden tube out, but these guys are my go-to. These are these are the good ones. And I know like my Odin, I have to use an eight millimeter, but this little socket wrench just does, does the job for me, makes things fast and make things effective. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this content and found it useful. Um, thank you to No Clogger. Uh, this thing is awesome and I highly recommend it. And I love that the handle is even 3D printed. So kind of an awesome twist to it, but an awesome tool. I hope you guys found this interesting. Make sure you hit that like button if you did, and I will see you guys in the next video.